If you and your family are looking to book a cruise on the Icon of the Seas and you don't know where to start, then this video is for you. Hello cruisers and fans loyal to Royal, the moment you've been waiting for is finally here. We're about to explore the ship neighborhood by neighborhood and we're going to start with one of our favorites. Take it away, Cullen. This is the brand new Pearl. You've heard all about it and we've heard that it spans three decks. But when you get in here and you actually see it, it is absolutely phenomenal. Look at all those tiles that span across that dome there. 3,600 kinetic tiles. Like, that is so pretty. Welcome to the Royal Promenade. This is where a lot of the fun is going to take place. I can't believe all the new updates. It's got 15, 15 bars and restaurants from you guys to choose from. Follow me, follow me. Come in, come with me. Come on, don't, don't, don't fall behind, guys. Let's go check out this. It might be a little loud. Welcome. Welcome to the Pearl Cafe, okay? Wake up in the morning after having, you know, a little bit too much fun last night. You know what I'm talking about. Roll out of bed, get yourself a coffee, maybe some pastries. Have that sun hitting you right in the face over here to the left. Oh yeah. I'm just seeing the artwork up top here. There's like a whale, like a little made out of floral metal. I am, y'all, I am taken back. I am just absolutely besides myself. So it looks like they have a couple of options from you guys to choose from, some warm pastries. I'm just looking at the menu with you guys here responding, but mushroom varia, a smokehouse barbecue chicken, roasted apple and mozzarella, lots of fun stuff. There's some cream brulee. I don't see any quiche. Oh, there we go. Look at those, some scones for you guys as well. So that's pretty cool. So it doesn't appear to be any upcharge on this. So it does appear to be included on your cruise. If someone can fact check me on that, please go ahead. But um, good news on my deck. What about you, Liz? You can see the new and expanded Boleros. Now, if you love a good mojito, you love to dance, you can see the keys over to my right where you can guys can get on the dance floor, hang out with your loved ones, your friends, your family, dance the night away, have a couple of drinks. Now, we talked about the 1400 Lobby Bar. It's actually down there, that's my mistake. But there's also Giovanni's across the way. You can see the point and feather down below. They just have completely expanded the amount of like venues you guys can listen to music, eat food, have some drinks. I really think, I mean, I hate to be cliche, but it's, it's pretty iconic. Like there, I said it. Iconic in the chat, all right? All right. <laughs> all right, let's go check out this balcony cabin. This is where you'll be spending your next seven days. So pretty. First of all, love the new colors in here. I think it's super beachy and modern and I love it. Um, you have plenty of space here for your desk and look how fresh that chair is. These new closet spaces are really neat. First of all, you have your long closet here. You have, um, we put stuff in here already, but here is um, your other closet. But the neat thing, you have little baskets. So there are no shelves, but you have your own bas baskets. They're a little squeaky. This is pretty neat. Your thermostat is digital, which is super nice. Um, you can change some things in here. So morning, the lights come on. Evening, the lights go off. You can go into sleep mode, but let's check out this bathroom. All right, so this door in the shower is really neat. Um, I guess to save space, that's, I've never seen anything like that. That's pretty cool. But there's also a seat. So you can come in here and sit down. It's almost like a bathtub or not. You can shave your legs, do other things. I don't know, it's kind of nice. There's an actual outlet here in the bathroom. I don't think I've ever seen an outlet in the bathroom, unless it was for like electric razors. The bed here is pretty standard. It is, uh, technically a king size bed, but they do split apart into two twins if you do not want it together. And you have a lovely couch that I believe comes out into a bed. Oh, this is nice. Nice on my bum. Last but not least, the balcony. Whee! This is the perfect spot to chill out on a sea day, grab some breakfast, grab a drink, do whatever float your boat and just hang out and enjoy the open air. This is nice. Chair, 
and footstool. So if you thought this was cool, wait till you see Central Park. But before we go over there, let's go see what Cullen's doing. All right, guys, we are at the Swim and Tonic. It's the newest bar here on Icon of the Seas. I think I'm gonna get in the water a little bit. That's not as cold as I thought it was gonna be, guys. There's a swim up bar. I can imagine just sitting out here, like having a drink, listening to music, watching the breeze go by and the ocean breeze by, whatever I'm trying to say. I'm just super excited about this. This is cool. They have tons of seating for you all. Look at these little chairs they have here. But there's some day beds that like just go around the perimeter of the pool. This is, I can see myself getting a nice sunburn here. I'm just saying, I'm just saying there's a hot tub. This is good job guys. Now you may have seen this on like Navigator of the Seas. I believe it's on Symphony of the Seas, but they still have these cabanas. If you feel like you want to grab a pina colada or a pina colada little suite there, a cabana, just hang out by the pool. Enjoy the views. So we're at the new Lime and Coconut Frozen Bar, and you can see they've got frozen daiquiris here. Mango, hurricane, watermelon, pina colada, strawberry, peach. It reminds me of like Senior Frogs, but like elevated to another level. And if you come over here, you can see Central Park, like down here, where you can just kind of people watch, watch the pools. This is absolutely incredible. You can see how much time and energy went with like spacing out people on deck without them feeling so crammed in but just like these wide open spaces and these bright colors like I'm I'm digging it y'all um, here on deck 16 they add a little bit of a surprise element a little bit of that fun for that family friendly vibe there's a slide so uh, I'm gonna go down it I'll see you guys down below let's check it out no. <laughs> it's a slide Water slide, just a regular no, it's just slide. a regular slide. Woo! <laughs> wow, it's fast! Oh, snap! All right, that's fast. <laughs> that's fast, y'all. <laughs> Bring a seatbelt. That's all I got from me. I wonder what Alyssa's up to and where she's at right now. All right, so I am here checking out the brand new Thrill Island. It's got so many great things, but right behind me is Crown's Edge and Adrenaline Peak, which is the rock wall. So I don't know if we can see anybody do this, but this looks really neat. It's essentially like, not a zip line, but it'll, the floor will drop underneath of you and then you're hanging above the water. That's wild. And this rock wall has a bunch of different lines. You can race your friends up it. I think it's gonna be really neat. Maybe, maybe I'll take Cullen up uh, the wall for a little competition. So right behind me is Cat 6 Water Park. It is the very first water park here at sea. You got your tallest drop slide at sea. You got your first free fall water slide at sea. Your first family raft slide at sea. And the first map racing duo slide at sea. That's so many firsts here on the ship. And I can't wait to try all these slides probably tomorrow. So if you want to see our first reactions and our thoughts on this giant water park here at sea, tune into our next video. It's going to be a great one. The Thrill Island also houses the Lost Dunes mini golf course. You got some people playing putt-putt right here. I love the theming of this. It's like a little shipwreck. Super fun, super cute, nice fun activity to do at sea. So I imagine after all the fun in the sun that you're having on the water slides, you're gonna get a little bit hungry. So you can head over here to base camp and there's a lot of options over here. Complimentary and for an upcharge. You got hot dogs, pretzels, but you also have chicken nuggets, cheese curds, and a shrimp bao bun. Ooh, yum. Yummy. All right, so I just ordered some food here. They gave me a little pager to let me know when my food is ready. So we're gonna take a seat and wait. All right, guys, check this out. Adults only, 18 plus. This is the new Hideaway Beach Club, all right? So this place here was inspired by a lot of like beach clubs and lounges around the world. The inspiration here is incredible. They've got some hot tubs to the right, but it's also got the first like suspended infinity pool Oh, oh my God, guys, come check this out. Couple day beds for you guys to relax at. This looks absolutely incredible. Check out the vibes here. Can you imagine ordering yourself a drink, popping a squat on that day bed right there, and just watching the wake 
out in the Caribbean Ocean. Like, I can't think of anything better, guys. But check out this infinity pool. It's the first one that's suspended over the edge here at the hideaway. I think I'm gonna get in again. So let's give it a shot. Ooh, listen, this is insane. This is good, you know? I think there's a spot right open for me. Sir, can I sit on this? Oh, oh yes, sir. Oh boy. I am blessed, y'all. Smash the thumbs up button for that. Imagine yourself sitting right here. What do you think, a Coco Loco? Looking out over the water? What do you think? Oh, a pina colada, my man said. Pina colada, just taking it all in. Two pina coladas. Woo, he said one for him. Hey, I can't get enough. I cannot get enough. Let's go, guys. Alyssa, how you doing? All right, guys, so my food has arrived. Um, we got the chicken waffles, um, the cheese curds, and the shrimp bao bun. Um, I'm gonna go in for the shrimp. Mmm. That's really tasty. All right, chicken waffles. I don't see the chicken, but I see the waffles, so let's take a bite. That's genius. The chicken inside the waffle. Wow. All right, Wisconsin cheese curd. Give it a try. Oh, that's yummy. I'm going to sit here and enjoy my lunch. Wait till you guys see what's happening over at Surfside. But let's check in with Cullen first to see what he's doing. All right, guys, you want to see something cool? This is the new Royal Theater. Like, you know what? Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go check it out real quick. Let's check it out. So, there's the new show that everyone's going nuts about, all right? It's The Wizard of Oz. We just saw some of the actresses over there. I'm not gonna spoil it for you yet, but you gotta come see this show. But let's check out the venue here. I'm super pumped because it's, listen, I'm just so excited. Can you tell it's in my voice here? There's the set, there's a little sneak peek, okay? All right, let's not interrupt them. I don't want to speak too loud, but we're going to exit out of here. We're going to get out and we're going to see the next spot. Wait till we show you the next spot. All right, let's dip. Put Iconic in the chat. All right. Now I'm strolling here through Central Park. As you can tell, there's live music above me, but this is a lovely space here on the Icon of the Seas. It is five decks high. There are four living walls. And would you believe there are 30,000 plus plants in this spot? 30,000, that's so many plants. It's also home to the first walk-up champagne bar, which uh, is very lovely, and Louis Jazz and Blues, where they're going to play live music. Let's order some bubbly here. Hmm, all right, thank you. All right, now if you thought that was cool, I got one more surprise up my sleeve, so let's go check that out. But first, let's see what Cullen's up to. All right, guys, we are in the highly anticipated, the most waited on thing that we've ever experienced, and that is the Aqua Dome here on the Icon of the Seas. Guys, this place has 220 degree views, but also something called a 50 foot aqua curtain. I don't even know what that means, but I saw the images and like the water comes towering down from the top. I'm assuming that's what it is. Like this is like super state of the art incredible technology it's got four robotic arms one half pipe seven lifts and projection mapping you see that galaxy mapping out your dreams across there right now my dreams are up there i know yours are up there too guys but it gets better this is where you're going to see some of the most amazing aqua shows that you've ever seen guys i personally am pumped can't wait to bring you guys along again no spoilers in this video you have to tune into one of our later videos to get that experiential blog feeling of what really happens on deck. But wait, there's more. There's something called the Royal Bling in the Aquadome. Come check this out, guys. Come with me, come, come with me, guys. So there's this jewelry shop here where you can sit down and try on different types of bling from Royal. It is closed right now. It's under high surveillance. But when I tell you there's a $100,000 cup made of Ooh, look at this, you see that? We're gonna zoom in on that for you, okay? We're gonna clip in for you, just check that out. 
That cup right there is $100,000 and comes with an unlimited drink package for the rest of your life. Like anytime you bring that sucker on board, like let's freaking go. Let us know in the comment section below. Would you spend $100,000 on a Royal Caribbean chalice? I mean, I'm calling it a pip cup. You know, it reminds me of little John. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Tyranny Aqua Dome. The fun doesn't stop there. Listen, they got a bar called the Rye and Bean where you can get some nice lattes in the morning. But the nightlife is pretty dope too. So check this out. It comes to life. We've got this nice blue LED to the right, completely high, making it a, oh, I'm starting with my words, guys. I'm so excited. But making a fun party here. You got a DJ going live. You got a bar to my left. This, they really thought this sucker out, guys. Y'all, hopefully the music's not too loud, but this is the overlook. Look at the pod seating. Tons of places for you to just relax, hang out, order a drink, sit with your friends. That doesn't get any better than this. Just check this out, guys. I'm in, I'm freaking Aquaman right now. Look at this. I'm in an aquarium. I'm the king of the sea. <sighs> so earlier I said I was gonna take you to the rye and bean to check out those coffee and the lattes. Let's check it out. It's up here. Once you wake up after, you know, having some fun or maybe a little too much fun, if you know what I'm talking about, you guys will be able to order a coffee, a latte, Maybe even some clue in that latte. Maybe something, you know, a little stronger than your typical coffee, if you know what I'm saying. If you're picking up what I'm putting down. But my point is, they've got something for everybody on this ship. If that's something you're interested in, listen, please reach out to us. Support our team if you found any value in this video so far. Like, smash a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and book with Rose at wildtravelgroup.com, and uh, she'll hook you up today, all right? Now, some of the drinks that you guys could order here are like a chai old fashioned. There's a coconut cold brew. And uh, something that Alyssa said, she said a, an espresso martini. I don't know, sounds good to me. Let me know, if you're a coffee fanatic, smash the thumbs up button. What's your coffee preference? You see here to the left, you got espresso, americano, cappuccino, uh, cafe latte, cafe mocho. I'm joking, I'm just clowning around. <laughs> I know you guys like to correct me. All right, now for the long-awaited Surfside neighborhood. She's all right, she's so excited. Woo! You wanna go check it out? Ooh. Let's go check it out. Let's go, baby! All right, so I just came down into Surfside. I took the steps this time, but you have to know that there is a slide from deck eight to deck seven to get down to Surfside. So that is something that's really neat. So let's check out the rest of it. Woo! Before we get the main attraction over here. There's lots of fun things to do for your family. You don't ever have to leave this deck if you don't want to. There's plenty of places to eat, places to drink, and Noah is super excited about this carousel, so I think we need to take a for a little spin, huh? Ooh, okay, let's go stand in line. Let's go. Yeah! Yeah, we liked it, huh? Behind me is something called the Playscape. There's a lot of fun little elements for your kiddos to play and crawl and climb and do all the fun things. And I know baby Noah here is going to have fun ripping and roaring soon enough. Huh. Woo! So I mentioned there are plenty of places to eat over here at Surfside. Behind me is Pier 7. It is uh, an additional charge. However, they have all day brunch. Kids under 12 eat free and um, it looks really yummy. But let's check out this water feature. And then I have one more thing to show you over here. Ooh. This is the new Splash Away Bay with Baby Bay and a full-size pool for adults. So you literally can just all enjoy in one spot, which is super neat. The kids got a water slide. There's a splash bucket, tons of seating, so you can watch these kids. You can also watch the kids from in the pool, which is really nice. This is the part that I'm most excited about on Surfside. It is the Lemon Post Bar. Now there are two separate menus, one for adults, one for kids, so you can all come and grab a drink and enjoy the day. And actually, I think I'm gonna go grab a drink right now. Mmm, yummy. Now for the sweet neighborhood, it's the largest neighborhood to date, four decks of luxury, uh, featuring a multi-level suite sun deck, the Grove with a private pool, whirlpool, uh, a variety of seating and new casual Mediterranean dining. So pretty nice, pretty fun. 
All right, guys, we've been doing this tour all day, and I know you're hungry, I'm hungry, and we're here at the very first Aquadome Market, and personally, I'm super excited for a couple of reasons, because it gives us so much variety to choose from, like an a la carte option. It's their very first food hall. Like, let's go check out some of the stuff they have, guys. So we've got the Toast and Garden, which gives you like subs, got a fresh salad there. There's a watermelon feta salad, excuse me, feta salad there. That just looks absolutely delicious. But you got some fresh Mediterranean food as well. Um, Max, it's like a mac and cheese bar for you guys to choose from, which looks absolutely delicious. Like, look at that, a chili mac. There's a bacon mac, so I'm all about it. Plus much, much, much more. There's also something called ginger, a little bit of like Asian infusion here. So you can choose your base, get like rice or noodles. Um, you can get like a sweet and sour shrimp with pineapple, chicken teriyaki. There's a ginger beef with bell peppers. There's also like a vegetarian option, so like a vegetarian stir fry, which is pretty unique as well. But as you can see here, there's creme de la crepe, which is their very first crepe station, which looks absolutely delicious. And so while no one's manning it right now, um, trust me, your boy's gonna get a crepe, maybe tomorrow for breakfast. Um, let's, you got a crepe, Dan, what? What's cool? Pancake. That's a pancake? So of crepes. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> the best one is the so yeah. what's the what's the waffle then? Like like the cousin? The waffle. The waffle, the Belgian waffle? That's the cousin? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm going uh, I'm going the wrong way. I still need food. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. Is there food on the other side? Sir? Is there food on the other side as well? No, sir. It's just this. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool. cool. Yeah. Guys, that's it. So come make a stop by the Aquadome Market. Find something that you like, and I promise you, you won't leave empty-handed. I promised you one last surprise, but if you want more Icon videos, click this video right here, and if you want to watch Royal Caribbean vs. Celebrity, click this video right here.